we've been enthroned to display God's glory. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 says to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places. The Apostle Paul in Ephesians as he uh, has gone through describing all that God has done for us in Christ makes the statement saying that through the church the manifold, the multifaceted wisdom of God is going to be made known. That means the church is putting on display. The church is exhibiting the wisdom of God, the glory of God, the grandeur of God. Uh, it is being made known through the, by the church. Paul's terminology Principalities and powers refer to these demonic forces. It refers to Satan's kingdom uh, 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 and wicked rulers and wicked spirits. So in chapter 2, he has told us that the church really is seated with Christ in heavenly realms. That same church is now operating on the earth in the physical realm. And through this church, God's glory and splendor is displayed so that even the powers of darkness see the glory of God displayed, see the wisdom of God displayed through the church. And they, are under, they understand then what God has actually accomplished through His Son, Jesus Christ, and His redemptive work. You know, one of the reasons God has enthroned us and made us, positioned us, and brought us into at this union with Christ is so that through us, His glory would be displayed and Satan and all his demons will be shown in the face what God has done for us in Christ. The riches of his kindness and his goodness towards us. The glory of God being put on display through the church. So let's walk in our position in Christ. Let's walk as people who are enthroned, who are seated with Christ in every places and expect the glory and the wisdom of God to be displayed through our lives so that Jesus Christ receives the praise. Jesus Christ is glorified through us and Satan and all his demons know that Jesus has triumphed. Jesus has the final word. He has won. He is the champion. He is the conqueror and he's being glorified through his redeemed saints. Let's glorify Christ as we walk in our position of being seated with Christ in heavenly realms. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for what you've done for us by bringing us into Christ and causing us to be seated with him and, and enabling us to live our lives out of that position in Christ. And we pray, Lord, that your glory be displayed, your wisdom be displayed through each of us, uh, that our lives will attest to your kindness, your grace, and your glory. Let Satan and his demons be put to shame through each one of us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.